Okay. We good? Yes, we we good. So Alfred Rackle released the Alpha for Outpost Glacier. It's a new uh, survival game. We don't have a soundtrack in the menu. It's one of the early stages of the Alpha, so it's understandable. Uh, the only option we have is this. No audio option so far, so we just do create a new game. Let me adjust the audio externally, I guess, for now. It's not a big deal. Let me just do this, this. Let's do 8%. Let's, it seems fine, okay. We have a, we have a compass. It looks like we have a clear GUI with temperature. The number of the version is alpha 1.1, so it's one of the first version available. We have food, water, and health. If I press E, it's inventory. If I ask, press ESC, it doesn't close the inventory. Drag and drop items to your altbar, but you can press that. Okay, cool. My life is going great. Uh, continue. Inventory. Close and then ask. Okay, pressing the inventory also stops the sound effect and the music and everything. That's something. Press Q to open the quest log. Okay. Pillar of Hope. I have no idea where I am. All I know is that I don't find. Sh if I don't find shelter soon, I'll freeze to death. Investigate the pillar in the distance. So. Do we have a third person? I don't think we do have a... Okay. Right now, if I press ask, it's it unfreezes. But sometime when I close the option, I press continue, but it's still paused right here. It's, it doesn't continue. So, something that needs to be fixed, we gotta investigate that. Also, I'm not sure about key binding, so I'm gonna have to figure it out. Keys. E to load scrap. Aside from that, the movement seems fine. You can also sprint, but I don't see a stamina bar. I'm looting everything I see. Looting seems, seems easy and fun. Was inside the tray hidden. A lot of scrap iron. Oh, unable, in, unable to gather, so we can craft tools. If I press tab, it goes to the inventory. If I t press tab again, it closes the inventory. So that's good. So I, instead of ask if I press tab, it's fine. I would have preferred to press ask though. What's this? New objective. So Q, it's basically quest or journal. The tower appears to be an old Apollo survival station. Maybe there is some power left in this old relic. The compass is a bit too big, more I look at it. Like, it doesn't need to be this big. You need the cable to connect or to interact with these objects. Is this the power thingy? It's a 3D pin printer power output. We need the cable connector. Let's check out the 3D printer. Printer. It's 
put it back if I click crafting bandage wooden handle a snowman we have kind of like a sorting feature it could be handled in a better way wait I'm gonna freeze at this rate I'm not sure if I have to repair the tower now or if I just keep exploring We cannot make an axe though, we made the handle. Maybe we just need more stone. Do we have a map? No, not yet. The temperature seems very low. We got some more cloud, maybe more stuff we have. Easier is gonna be to craft stuff. Like, it didn't display that I unlocked a new recipe though. We got blueprints for what? I saw something here. A raw meat. Dagger rock. Find the powerhouse. So the objective is, is to find stuff. We get a loop around to find this powerhouse. It's not displayed in the map, or so. Those are animals around. So why is this the top of the screen red? I 
I feel like it could be right there. Yeah, the GUI it's a bit big in my opinion. It's probably not resizable. I don't know if it's because of the alpha or if it's default. Now it's night time. I also got an eight pack. What's this? I hope that's where we need to go. It's not a loot old feature. Wow, this game has a lot of stuff and that thing is going. <laughs> it shouldn't keep going forever though. Let's leave some of those there. What are we looting here? It's just more food. It doesn't look like you can die. This thing has power. I am stuck. I wanted to go to the infinity and beyond, but not really. We 
We are super stuck here. If it's not a thing, I was expecting a warning, like, don't go there. I see no way out. Can I get damaged? Yeah, I can't. I can't. I got a lot of blueprints. But no idea on how to solve the power issue. Let's craft a, like, a bandage. If I press six, uh, it says press to eat, uh, but I'm not just eating, like, and it didn't work, like, the bandage. Yeah, it still says press to eat, uh, but, like, it's not eatable. I just ended up dropping that on the ground, apparently. Oh, that's one of the golden trophy, like, in the game page for each that I owe, like, um, there are several golden statues around the game. Find a golden statue, take a screenshot of the statue, email, uh, na na na. That's it, you're competing for a copy of the game. So... Let's screenshot this. I mean, I hope it's fine. So when the game is out, we have a chance of getting a key. So the crafting system seems easy enough, but... The quest tracking system... Like, it's more of survival, or it's more of storyline survival? Like... Also, I don't think this stuff respawn. And the bars... I don't think those bars on the bottom are working. Oh, I, I use left click instead of right click and I use the bandages. It did the same sound effect. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not convinced everything is already right now. Like going around. Also, I missed the tower. That is probably the main point. Since we don't have a map, we don't have the possibility to set up waypoint by our like for ourselves. Since like the the tower seems the main point to progress further in the game. I am kind of stuck. Also earlier I I went just Is this ice? It looks like water. As you can see, I, I have the shadows for my character when I walk on the snow. Oh, it's full shadow apparently. Keep eating. I can't interact with this box. I earlier I dropped items without realizing. Like pressing right click, it just dropped it. And I didn't even know that I was dropping it. Let's try dropping something like this. I wanna get the iron bar. I saw an iron bar, where, where is it going? Says that that is no, so maybe it's this one, the iron bar. Do we have anything new now? We got snow. That's how you make snowmans. Maybe I just need more stone to then get a pickaxe and start mining other stuff. But we still lost the tower, so... And... What if we put this in our inventory? Doesn't look like we can use it.
negative 200 temperature maybe because I'm higher in the mountain Now I got damage, I'm pretty sure I got damaged. The first time like it didn't even count in the health bar. We got highs. It's probably melting. I feel like it's good enough as a showcase for now. Maybe in one of the future versions. Like, I would have loved to make tools, but with this small as an inventory, you can't even test stuff, like, unless I drop all this. Is this enough stone to unlock something different? It's not. Well, I see the tower, let's try going there. So it was more cold when I was higher. So if I stay low, it is just that. But I still lost my vehicle, so... Mm. Yeah, I know, inventory is full. Southeast it's a lot less cold than Northwest.
What's this? Or maybe this was the power. Cargo box. I am kind of stuck in this menu. Oh, you see what? You forgot the axe right there. And it's, you can't get out of that inventory. So we got 10 out of 10 of power. Is that the cable connector? We smelt. Aches 3D printer. Oh, I got the blueprint basically. Loot scanner, I need two ropes. Oh, craft an iron pickaxe. I need copper bars to do that. Pick it up from the output and keep it. Find two copper and iron ore. Doesn't look like you have durability. You can melt this into copper bars it doesn't say how much time it takes I don't know if it's positive or negative oh 
Oh, we still need two iron ore anyway. This is copper. Let's make a loot scanner. Oh, to do that I need uh, the iron ore. Can I not use my iron bars? Also, how do I know if I deposit its iron or coal or what? I just guessed it was nearby. Got those. We should have printed the loot scanner. Scan the area by pressing C. Create a fabricator. Four copper. Four iron sheet. Made out of iron bars. So I basically need a lot of iron. Probably don't have enough. If I click on the right spot, do I get more iron? Cool, we gotta try... Let's 
scanner. Power at 6 out of 10, so it's almost out. We don't know what we need to upgrade. Oh, we need 10 iron, that's it. Uh, let's get this iron bars. Let's leave that there. I wish like you had a storage near here. I can't move this, right? Oh, this is how it works. The scanner is nice, but... I don't know if it's better, like, if you put something in the compass. Four iron shit. Two iron spring. And four copper wire. That's the last one. Let's put it here, maybe. Thank you for playing. I mean, it's more than fine. The cable is right there. You've completed the alpha, okay. Explore the game, refer as a friend. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think I'm gonna end here. It was a fun alpha. It had like all the basic stuff needed. 
I guess with a lot of future version they could improve this a lot and make this into a great survival game. But there is a big but. There is a lot that needs to be changed. Not only the GUI, the sides, the transparency, also if it's a co-op, uh, this game should be able to, should allow co-op. How does the co-op work? We don't know anything just yet, like trading inventory. One thing I felt was the lack of storage. So if I had to say something, I would, I would have introduced something like like make it more obvious that you can connect the cables and start going with the production in the crafting area and then right there make it make something like buildable storage like where you can easily create a storage and put stuff in chests something like this and then after that one other thing that i'm gonna say I felt a bit immersed, but I want to also say that everything seems a bit small. Compared to games like Satisfactory, where you have to just build and build gigantic stuff, here you, you have to survive, but the game didn't felt like I was immersed that much. I mean, the crafting was fun, the building system was fun, the scanning ar scanner was fun. It felt a bit like Subnautica. I mean, I have the game, I never played it, but I watched a bunch of playthrough for the game. But in Subnautica it's fun because you explore in the water, underwater, and it's unique. Right here it just felt like a basic exploration game. It didn't feel like that touch that made the game different from other games. So we're gonna have to see uh, with future version of the game. About the menu, we don't have uh, credits so I cannot showcase who made this game. The menu it's kind of dynamic, but let's say not really. Also, it just doesn't make sense, it's a lot dark. And uh, yeah, it's not dynamic enough. We just have the snow sound, the snow effect, but it's, I mean, I, I don't like this menu, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I it, it feels dark and pointless. Also, maybe instead of having this already built, maybe you could build this uh, with stuff that you can find around. Or, I, I don't know, like make a blueprint for that as well. Also, if you don't find a blueprint in the map, you are kind of stuck, so... I don't know how you handle that kind of stuff. Mm. Like right now in the alpha, no evil enemies. But maybe, I don't know, that will involve different AI, so I guess it's not a priority right now. Maybe it's for a beta stage or something like that. Uh, in the menu, we are missing mo most of the option apart from this. Like we are missing audio option, sound effect option, the possibility to switch. Like master audio, audio option for the... Option for the sound effect, uh, sound effect, audio, master audio, uh, reset quest feature, because if it's a quest glitch, you, you want to be able to go back and go to the current quest. Uh, a bit of storyline for the beginning with subtitles, like not much, but just a bit of storyline to make this feel more like a game complete. Mm, the option field of view is missing. Brightness. Mm, key binding. That's it. I'm gonna stop here. There could be more, but for now, yeah, that's the main stuff that the is. Like the, the logo, the design here, I like it. Really well made. Uh, Link to social media here missing, and we made this game, and that's it. Mm. Pretty pretty nice alpha. Uh, it's very early to judge the quality of this game, so 
we're gonna see. As like, I didn't understand the snowball feature and the snowman around. <laughs> like we found some snow, but didn't understand that. About the inventory, less inventory slots you have, less the possibility in crafting. And it felt a bit limited with that, but like we didn't have like that many slots. About using items, uh, like you need to adjust that audio feature, also the text, if it's uh, something that you need to eat, you can eat it, if it's not, not the, the drop-in thingy, that wasn't okay. And uh, also, I play games on the regular, so I assume this was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to move around in the odd part, but not many people know, so you just gotta put a number for the slot there. The inventories are fine, but I don't really like the design, they look a bit basic. Maybe prioritize, like, like you want to prioritize finishing the crafting system and make it uh, smoother than this, a bit smoother, and then maybe a bit of a GUI revamp, like make it a bit cooler. Also, let's say, if I press E, inventory, I can't move this window. And uh, I can move the items in it, but if I want to move this window, it's complex for how this game is made, because this is not a sub-menu where you can move this and move everything in the menu. Also, we, we really didn't find anything to wear. The quest system was fine. Adjust please the desk here. Like, this is a great image. Use this to the menu instead of the other one. Instead of quit game, you should say go back to the menu. Quit, are you sure? Yes, let's find out. Okay. Quit, are you sure? Yes, no, okay. Because uh, if it's the same things, one, someone could assume that you can close the game and not go back to the menu. These are two different things. Uh, yeah, I'm ending here. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun demo. A fun beta, alpha. Alpha. Fun, fun pre-alpha. Actually, alpha. So, yeah. Bye-bye.